So on your new Subaru, you do have access to Android Auto or Apple CarPlay depending on which version of phones you go with. Uh, this, this system is similar in both situations as far as functionality. Uh, getting into it is a little different on Android and Apple, but the overall functionality is the same. This is going to give you access to uh, using your phone uh, for phone calls, text messaging, uh, mapping service if you want to use Google Maps or Waze or any of those types of programs you may have on your phone already. Uh, you've got that. You can get directions. You can look up stuff through uh, either your Google Assistant or your Siri app on your phones. Uh, it's relatively straightforward. A simple plug-in to the dash. The, the phone does have to be hardwired to the system right now uh, for it to function. Uh, once you have it plugged in and activated, you'll have to activate a few permissions depending on if it's Android or Apple or not. Uh, the permissions look a little different, but they serve the same function. Uh, all of this is going to be displayed on your screen now, and then you also have the option of using voice recognition. Our cars have two systems with it when you plug in like this. The built-in system functions off of a quick press of the button on your steering wheel. The voice activated system for either your Siri or your uh, Google Assistant is going to come with a long press of the voice activation button. You can ask it to make phone calls for you. You can ask it for locations such as uh, nearest Costco, nearest restaurants, things like that. And then it'll actually do the display for uh, your navigation for you as well.